Hello everybody, uh, my name is Chris, welcome back to my channel. Uh, sounds a little weird today because unfortunately OBS has thrown a fit. I was playing around with some camera features, trying to, you know, get a little updates going, and uh, yeah, it totally hosed OBS. So, I am working off of OBS Streamlabs Edition. And even though it's got most of the settings correct, it's got a robotic sound to it, like a almost like tin, but not quite. It's more more like a robot. So if I sound like a robot today, it is not because the machines have taken over. All right, so I picked up a new game and haven't played it yet. This one's called Moonlighter. Ooh, normal for players who want to focus on the story. Original difficulty level for creating. Created by the developers for making it for most players. For players who want a combat challenge. Uh, I don't want to go. I kind of like the story, but I uh, I don't know how much of a challenge. I'll, let's let's go normal. I've had enough aggravation out of my computer and my programs this morning to last me a while. So yeah, let's let's do less aggravating. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. That's pretty old. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasure and deadly creatures appeared in this land. Cool. They called them the dungeons. Strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Cool. Soon, a village of the slightly curious... Of the slightly curious took root near the dungeon. And they named it... Ugh. What would they name it? Among the settlers, two groups shine bright as heroes and merchants. But the dungeon proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Ah. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop. Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Oh, I'll continue. I saw the trailer of this game and I was like, wow. This looks like a game I've got to play. And it's probably a little older. Can I move? No? Okay. You got a big pack there, buddy. Boom! Uh oh. Oh yeah, now I can. Oh. Okay. Oh, I get it. Stick. No, I thought that was a group of skeletons that was coming to get me. I have no other. I have nothing. Uh, and I have a. Is it a sweep function? L. Okay. Oh, left trigger. Okay. All right, we got, I think we're good. Oh, it, somebody, my, somebody told me this has a Zelda feel to it. It does have a Zelda feel, an original Zelda feel. Break all the stuff. Left trigger. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. Yeah, I figured that out already in the other room. Give me some wee pawns. Uh, oh, oh, we can die. Oh, okay. That's my leap. Can I say I really don't like that as a jump? Just so everybody is aware. Um, hello. Left trigger, whoop. Oh, oh. Okay, I wasn't being an idiot there. I was just, I was testing to see if I could actually, you know, touch, touch him or if it was just leap. Ooh, yeah. Oh look, enter the gungeon all over again. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Oh, A button. Yes! I have the broom of destiny! I will clean up this mess of which I made. Dude, if you're never gonna get the glass shards up that way. Learn to use a broom. Oh, 22 points of damage. X is a strong attack. <laughs> oh, right, right trigger. What is, oh, I guess that uses a health potion, but I don't need it. Ooh, oh, I got a, I got a primary and a secondary. You gotta hold that puppy down. Ugh. Charges. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah. What is that? Is that, hello. Oh, I'm already in love with this game. Rich Jelly! Oh, rich Jelly! Finally! 
I can eat toast like a rich man. Um, grab and grab water lamp. How curious a lamp, not a flame, but of glowing water. Heavier for sure, but more reliable in the long run. Wait a minute, is this heavy water? Um, I don't think you want to be carrying that around with you. Just saying. What? Okay, that symbol does not say backpack to me. That symbol says creature of some sort with ears and a beak, like a Furby. I, I, I gave backpack. Okay. Hardened steel. What does it do? Strongest steel I have come across. Perfect for crafting new equipment. Ooh. Well, okay then. Grab st Can we? Oh, quick move all. There we go. Let me read and I shall be answered. Take that, you pesky, pesky pots. Uh, yes, may I open you? Ooh, ancient pot. As a small cracker tube, it could still hold something beautifully crafted. Curious what it could have been used for. Ooh, Fabrique. Sturdy, but rough to the touch. I imagine some would want to use this in the creation of decoration. Oh, oh yes, yes, because... Boom! Look at me go. I got a stick. Oh, it's a root. Okay. I have looted the loots of looting. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, a bit, a bit, bit confused. Whoa! Hey, whoa, whoa! I'm, I'm, I'm not up to that yet. No, no, no! Whoop! Whoop! Rolled myself right off the cliff. Short attacks, short attacks. People are. Wait, 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 wait! I got. I was healing. Yeesh! Nope, I'm dead. No, not my loot! No! <gasps> no! Don't! What? I had loot! Was that supposed to happen? Oh, don't, don't tell me that was supposed to happen. What a sorry looking kid. Guys, you don't put me in the middle of a dungeon armed with my trusty broom. With, with a, a big, big attack. attack. And put me in a room with a bunch of people. And say fight. And then just make it to where I was supposed to die for the story. Come on. I thought I was doing it. And they kept my loot. I got roots. And a heavy water lamp. Oh, there's so many things I like about this game. So far, anyway. Okay, straight ahead, the helmet. This reminds me of Jack Smith a lot. And, well, it's got a very good Zelda vibe to it, too. I love it. Um, read. Gollum Dungeon. My precious. Oh, wrong one. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Desert Dungeon, only for heroes. Tech Dungeon, no entry. Forest Dungeon. Dungeon available to heroes not recommended for merchants. Entree. <laughs> Just get sucked into the goo. <laughs> yeah. Is it supposed to be missed? <laughs> Ta-da! Ooh. <laughs> Do I get a bomb sack? Hmm. Oh, no. I got more than one way. Ooh. Oh, hey, man, watch it. Wrong button. But you know what? The broom would probably work better. I would get hit less with the broom. What is this? I don't know, I decided to go up first. Ah, oh, crap. Whoop. Hey! You take way too long on your animation. dead. I'm dead. Oh. Nice. 
I'm not allowed to look at my loot? Can I get some healing potions? Please? Huge! Nicely done, but it's not going to help me. That's... That's why it's not going to help me. Great. Where am I? Uh, map. Great. I'm not allowed to look at my... Why can I not look at my... Dude, I'm seriously... This has more reach. <laughs> Yell at me and my mighty broom, why don't you? Hello. Mind if I clean up your pigsty? <laughs> Read. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I. My time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fired better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this. Map. Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete done gone lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to this to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. You ever found me? I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Okay. Uh, where is your di diagram? Oh, over here? Okay. Big boss gonna kill me. I suppose to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, Big Paw's gonna be so upset with little me. Ooh, yes, four key. One, two, three, four. And then the number five. Yes. Da -da -da -da. Oh, sorry. Um, two gold coins, B. Give it full, B. Circle around, B. Go, I'll hold down, B. Okay, so we get five gold coins. We can activate the pendant by holding down B. Is that what I'm... And it takes us home. Is that correct? Well, apparently I made the right choice. Um, but it's not letting me out, so... Bloop. Escape with pendant. 11 kills, zero treasure, go to town. Oakley Doakley. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally, learn to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? Oh, you, you found old Pete? Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some po posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. 
apparently they need some startup capital first. It would be nice to see some new life in Rhinoka. Nice indeed. All right, woohoo! Well, we made it one one day. And, uh... Yeah, let me check them out. I keep hearing an old rumor around town about the dungeons. That may be particular artifact are easier to find at night. <laughs> Can I get this? Investments Town Shop. Ooh! Ooh! Sale! Cheap sale box. I don't know if I want a cheap sale box. I got a hundred bucks. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that. If you bring me enough money and materials, a forge to be reckoned with. The wooden hat. Is brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeons? Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments for this and that. What if I need one for that and this? Close. Okay. I need more than a hundred bucks. Good morrow! A... I sort of always wanted to become a merchant, but I could never find a pendant. Those pendants used today were found when the dungeons were first discovered. Since then, finding a new one has become nearly impossible. Boy, Rhinoka has seen better days when your grandpa first opened Moonlighter. People from all over the lands would come to visit the shop. The hustle and bustle was constant, but now... Alright, let's get to... What do I want to sell? I don't know. Crystallized energy. What do I got here? Crystallized energy. Golem core. Core for the very heart of Golem. We have found ways to harness energy but are unable to create life from it. Water sphere. A milky white sphere. Or some unknown material containing water emitting a strange, almost eerie light. A hundred? Good price. Hundred and seventy? Bad price. Can I go a little higher? Oh wow, look. <laughs> you make it lower than that. We don't know what a good price... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let me, uh... Can we go down to 120, maybe? How's that? Whetstone, teeth stone, iron bar... I kind of want to hold on to the iron bars. Ancient pot, though. We could totally... Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an antique, man. Let's go 100 bucks. See what... 200, it's an antique. What's this? Rich jelly. Rich Jelly, it's in the name. Can I stack more than one? Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna say... Yeah. Mm -hmm. 100 a piece, 100 a piece. It, but it is Rich Jelly, so... Um, 500 a piece? That sounds fair, it's rich. Let's do this. 200 bucks a pop, okay. Sounds great. Put this stack. I love the stacking. Thank you. 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 What is it? A vine. Oh. Pfft. Come on now. Vines are great. Strong yet flexible material used by the tangle creatures to protect themselves. Vines. I mean, come on. Who doesn't like a good vine every now and then? <laughs> yeah. Let's uh. Open shop. Come on in. Take a look at my wares that I worked hard to get. Uh oh. Oh, too much for the... Mmm. Oh, they got downright angry. Oh, everybody's saddened. Hey, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Everything is negotiable. We can... Let's do 50. How about 50? You want 50? We can do 50. Apparently, Rich Jelly is not that rich. How's that? Everybody everybody doing all right? I don't want to make people mad. Let's go. Let's go 100. How about that? Price reduction. Price reduction. Have a look -see. Oh, better, huh? Oh, you're going to take all of them. Oh, do I have the option to not sell? <laughs> Be like, eh, no. Welcome to my shop. I worked hard gathering these materials. 120 is too much. But 100? Oh, yes, I will sell. Alright, hold on. Hold on, too, because, uh, let's do teeth stones. Do them at 100. <sighs> do you at 100. And apparently, eh, 25. What do you think? Let's try that. 
New Wes, New Wes. Angry, okay. And let's see what it, oh, angry, okay. Selling in reactions. That one even. 120, no. That must mean 110 is like the 200, no. Just put them down. Let's go 50, 50, 50. How about that? We'll do that. Let's try it. Still angry. Seriously? Angry. Angry. Come on, man. Rock bottom prices here. You know how long it took me to get that stuff? Not very long, but still. Wait, 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 wait. I think about that. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I was thinking it was because I put out. Let's, let's, let's. Let's not be greedy. Because, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm... <laughs> This is my first time running a shop here. I don't know what's what. There, hey, no, no, come back, come back. Make me money. Okay, ancient pots. Crystallized energy. I made 500 wing wangs. Popularity. I did bad. I did bad. This is rare because, you know, hey, it is. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I don't know how long this went on, but we got through one... One day, one night, well, I guess two days, one night. But anyway, I really like this game. I'm going to play a lot more of it. It's It's got a bunch of stuff going for it. So uh, anyway, I do thank you for watching. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think, what's going on. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. So uh, again, once again, I thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.